For this collection mystery one, we're given code and we need to try to find the output for the code given these cases. Before we start plugging things in, we're gonna look at the code. So we have a hash map, we have a public static void method, so it's not returning anything. And it's called collection mystery one, and it takes a hash map as a parameter. So we have our value and key, and it's called map. So we are going to make a second hash map as an auxiliary storage and what is going to be needed to print out. So we have a hash map of type string with the value type string and the key type string called result. And it's just stating a new hash map. So we have a for each loop here. So we have for string of K map dot key set. And what that does is that for every key set value, so it's going to start at the lowest key set value and then it's going to increment to the next one and the next one and the next one and it's just going to store each of that value in k until it has no more values and inside of our for loop we make another string titled v and that gets our map.k so it's going to get map.get this string of k it's going to pull out of the map whatever is stored in this string and now we have our if else statement we're going to look at the index zero of our key and our value and we're looking at the character of index zero so if the key value at if the key character at index zero is less than or equal to the value character at index zero this is going to happen we're going to dot put k and v so basically that's going to swap values the key value is going to go or the key is going to go in the values place and the value is going to go in the keys place else result dot put v comma k and what that's going to do is just leave it as it is and then it's just going to print the result so we have to see what it's printing for this one if we look at these two we can see we just need the first characters that's all we need to look at and d is greater than t so what this means is that it's going to swap this is what that's going to look like and we look at the next one we see c is greater than f so that's going to swap and we have o and u so if we go down the alphabet we're going to see that o is bigger and since o is bigger or it comes first you can think of that if since it comes first it's not going to be moved t has the same letter and that falls into our else statement so that means it's also not going to be moved and our f is greater than q so that's not going to be moved either and that's what we're left with going on the next one we look at our chars again and b is greater than s so it's going to swap c is greater than d so that's going to swap and for our last one or for our last two we have c is greater than p and we have c is also greater than p however there cannot be two of the same values that link to separate keys so what's going to happen is when this switches it's going to be computer equals program computer is the only value it can only be stored once it, there cannot be a second computer value in our map that links to a separate key so when computer becomes a value it's going to switch it's going to get its key updated with play. So when it first gets implemented, computer is equal to program. But then when we go to this one, it's gonna update it and computer is going to equal to the key of play. And then we go on to the next one and we see that E is greater than S and B is greater than G. So those are gonna switch. And then heads is greater than tails. So this is gonna stay the same. We have B, the B and begin is greater than ready and first is greater than last, so this one's gonna stay the same, and this one's gonna update. Now we look at our last one, we see that begin and end, and the B is greater than E, so the B, this is going to stay the same. However, we have a begin already in here, so it's just gonna update to end from ready. And then we look at the next one, this C is greater than S, so that's gonna stay the same. T is greater than V, so that's gonna stay the same and s is greater than t so that's going to say the same so once we have all of these here we can look at the next one that's light and tree that is also going to stay the same looking at the last one we have rain and cotton since this 
key value is greater than this value that it's linked to, the C is the cotton, the word cotton is going to become the value and rain is going to become the key. Since we already have a value of cotton here, the shirt is going to be updated with rain 